SR, BG, and programming the NPCs. Why I love NPCs and why every person, you want to be a king? You want to be the boss? You better learn how to program NPCs. Now you look at videos, you hear about the NPCs, and we automatically think negative about the NPCs. I can understand. I mean, they are literally people that's walking around on programs and they can't get off the program. They can't survive without the damn program. I understand. NPCs, that's like a curse word. You hear what I'm saying? But when you start vibing higher, you start knowing the truth about NPCs. Understand that these programmers, these powers that used to be, they didn't write the, the blueprints of NPC in. The Most High wrote the blueprint of NPC in. Like I said, the Most High, he has angels that circle around the throne forever and ever and after forever. And they only sing songs of praise. They don't cook chicken. They don't hump around. They don't smoke. They don't make no decisions. These are the Most High's personal NPCs, just like Willy Wonka had Oompa Loompas. You hear what I'm saying? When you look at termites, when you look at ants, there's only a few of the ants that's chosen. The queen being the queen, the most chosen. But the rest of them, those are NPCs, man. You hear what I'm saying? You see, the problem is these NPCs are programmed and running off a program of decay that they getting from these programmers, these powers that used to be. Listen, just because a person is an NPC don't mean they evil. Don't mean they're going to stab you. There's a lot of NPCs. A person that's in the church, the old lady that's been going to church for 45 years, don't know nothing else but the Bible and Jesus Christ. She poor, she live up in the ghetto, but she, she constantly have money to give away to the church and she nice, but she's an NPC. You hear what I'm saying? There's people out there that's on your job, man. Big Earl, Big Earl, he's a Raider fan. He's a Raider fanatic. He got the Raider keychain, he got the Raider beanie, he got a Raider tattoo. You hear what I'm saying? His car got the Raider flags and everything. He's an NPC. But Earl is cool. You understand what I'm saying? Just because a person is an NPC don't mean they're going to behave like a serpent seed. You digging what I'm saying? We're talking about two different types of people. A serpent seed come from a bloodline of serpent seed. They've been serpent seeding since the beginning of damn time, man. And they come in different shades, different colors, and different races, man. Serpent seeds. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the NPC, man. The guy that works at Walmart for 20 years doing the same damn thing, knowing that it ain't going to get better, but yet he come. He even work on New Year's Eve, man. He's not a bad guy, but he's a damn NPC. Now, just imagine, we have all this programmable matter running around. People that, 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 that can get programmed. We see all of these people that can get programmed, but being that the powers that used to be was running a narrative, then they were getting programmed by them. They were getting programmed by Little Dirk. But Little Dirk is no more. They was getting programmed by P. Diddy. They was getting programmed by every entertainer and celebrity that you see was participating in programming the NPCs. But now they're starting to go. And there's going to be a lot of NPCs that go with them. But understand that the blueprint of NPCing, it comes from the most high. 
damn worms don't make nothing but decay. They don't make nothing but decay. That's it. When you're talking about a lot of these animals, you're talking about NPCs, man. Just because this animal is an NPC and all he can do is monkey shit, don't mean it's a bad thing. Just because a pig is an NPC, a pig is an NPC. It has one job. I am not an NPC. I can go into multiple different dimensions and galaxies. A pig is an NPC. That doesn't mean that the damn pig is a bad damn pig, a bad thing. It doesn't mean that the pig is a bad thing just because it's an NPC. A dog is a damn NPC, man. It's just in a different form. Now, what makes the dog good? What makes the dog bad? The one who programs it. This same NPC can be around this programmer and be growling because it was, it was fed gunpowder and hot sauce. And this one can come from a loving family. It get rubbed and groomed. Two totally different NPCs. So the NPC, this is why we have to forgive them because they don't know what they damn doing. But soon as a chosen one come, and one NPC wake up. This is what they fear. When one NPC wake up, if we can program a powerful NPC, because remember, they got good jobs and all that. If we can program a powerful NPC to start planting trees and treating the earth right, cleaning up pollution, then another NPC is going to come and be programmed by that. Then 10 of them. And now all of a sudden, you have all these damn people following Jesus, following the chosen ones. Damn near all of them was damn NPCs who was following Jesus. Why do you think he had to create fish and break bread and multiply it? They didn't have the damn sense to go home and go eat a sandwich. You see what I'm saying? If you're going to be on some king stuff, if you're going to be on some, some, some CEO type stuff, boss man stuff, you have to accept that NPCs is the ones who make the world go round, man. Understand that we are like the brain, the spirit that can manifest things, but they are the ones that's going to go out there and do the January 6th. Ain't no chosen ones going to be marching on no damn capital buildings or nothing like that. All of them was NPCs. You hear what I'm saying? They the ones who's going to really do it. All of these damn TV shows and songs and stuff, they not designed to program me and my guys. We woke. They know we woke. They read it in the stars. Everything is designed to program the 95%. And those are NPCs, man. Who the hell you think is going to be cleaning up all this stuff and planting the trees? You think that I'm going to be doing it? No. I'm going to be manifesting and people are going to be coming and then they're going to be working. And then we're going to program the NPCs to drink beetroot juice. These same NPCs, the ones, listen, these NPCs are waking up because everything is evolving. Even, even the dogs and the cats are starting to get smarter. Everything then, then, then took an upgrade. Even the damn NPCs, why you think they starting to ask questions and stuff? Watch all the movies, man. The end of all these movies, man, is when the NPCs start realizing that they NPCs. They start saying stuff like, Father, who am I? What am I here for? What is my purpose? You hear what I'm saying? When the NPCs start waking up, it's a wrap. And if they have nobody to program them, this is where you get the dystopian, apocalyptic type 
environments. People that's eating each other because they don't have the damn sense to plant. They arm falling off, they face falling off because they don't got the sense the sense to go get the root vegetables and and, and eat. <coughs> Listen, right? They don't got the sense to do that. So they're going to start looking like the book of Eli and stuff. But us at the same damn time, we're going to be living good because we real people, we're going to manifest. But there's going to be some chosen ones. Because remember, this is a, this is crumbling, man. So just listen to what I'm saying. There's going to be some chosen ones that like bigger. And it's all right. Some people going to be like, man, I'm the chosen one. And I want, I want to own everything that I could see in the circle. Look in the circle. And everything you see for, for as far as the eye could see is yours. You, you're going to need some people. To help you build and all that. And it ain't going to be me. So who is going to be? You hear what I'm saying? It's the same thing as Walmart. Look, I can't work at Walmart. I can't work no nine to five for nobody. I'm the nine to five creator. But yet I can't do all of that by myself. So I need some people. And the guys that I'm cool with, they are all creators. So I can't go get them. I'm asking for some plumbing. He asking, can he help? Can, can I help him build a damn house? You hear what I'm saying? So what do we do? We got to go get some damn NPCs. Just because they NPCs don't mean you got to beat them. Don't mean you got to hang them. Or none of that. You hear what I'm saying? Man, I'm going to love my NPCs. I'm going to give my NPCs a lot. I'm not going to give them all of the information so they turn on me and all of that because NPCs, man. See, this is the thing about an NPC, the dangerous thing about an NPC. Being that an NPC needs a leader, if somebody come that's stronger than you, faster than you, quick, you know, quicker thinking, and then start worshiping that person. See, this is why a lot of people be taking people out because somebody like New Breed will come or somebody like somebody like uh, uh, Nature Boy will come and threaten to take all this person NPCs because NPCs need a leader. They like a strong leader. And this guy has to be right. If you're not right, if you show weakness... The NPCs will leave you all the time. Look how they did P. Diddy. On Monday, they was dancing, man, to the P. Diddy music, man. On Wednesday, they was laughing at him, saying that he had butt butter. Butt butter spread all over his toast. Baby oil dripped over it. You see how the NPCs is, man? Let's program an NPC. Let me show you how easy it is to program an NPC, right? First, you need to get into their programming. What, what program, identify the program that they're running on. That's first. What program are they running on? Let's take the modern woman with a BBL. Okay, what type of music she listened to? Okay, if she listened to Glo Glorilla and 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 Meg the Stallion and stuff, bam, we know her program. We know what she running on. I bet you she gonna like hearing things like she 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 wants her hair getting done. She's gonna like material things. These modern women that's running on a Cardi B type program. This is a Jezebel type program. So once you know that program, you identified that program, you could start manipulating it. That's why a guy can be broke up in LA and then on the weekends, he go to Miami, he rent out a car and have all of this flashy stuff and sleep with like seven females. And these females think that they the bomb and they got their only fans and they boss bitches and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, to the guy that don't know the programs, who don't know how to program NPCs and manipulate all of this stuff. 
but I do. So I could see her. If she's on a on a Mag the Stallion, Cardi B, Jezebel type of program, then I will never say anything about health and life and stuff like that. I talk about Lil Durk. Man, I could talk about Lil Durk. I could talk about cars. I could talk about jewelry. You feel what I'm saying? I could talk about food, different restaurants. I could talk about people. I could gossip. I could sit back. I could listen. And then I, I, I all of that. I could dress. I know the, the colognes and stuff. You hear what I'm saying? Once you know that, once you can, can get into that program, man, you could just start manipulating it, man. And they wouldn't even know because they are running on a program, a real person not running on a program. So you can't just come to me with no bullshit. You hear what I'm saying? Because I'm going to see right through it. I'm not on no program. I could fight. No, I'm telling the truth. I could fight. What style of fighting do you think I'm good at? Put it like that. Is it boxing? Is it wrestling? Is it Muay Thai? Is it karate? You hear what I'm saying? You don't know which way to approach me. You approach me like this, I might kick you in your kneecap. If you're a good boxer, how you know I'm not a good, good kickboxer? That's how it is being the chosen versus versus the NPCs who's running off of a program. This is why the majority of the dudes in the hood, I could beat up because they run on a program even with fighting. They, they pull up the pants and, and, and do it's, it's, it's a way of fighting. If you get them on the ground, people say, let them get up, let them get up. I don't want to let them get up. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You see, it's a program, even how they fight. So when you figure out that program, look, I know how to fight a gangbanger. You hear what I'm saying? 90, I say 95%, probably even 98% of gangbangers won't even last one round with me. And that's not because I'm the best fighter in the world. It's because I know they program it. I, I know how they fight. I already know what he's going to do. Nine times in the, out of ten, if he up in Watts or, or Compton or something like that, he is not skilled on the ground. He is not skilled in some Muay Thai or some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He can't dislocate. He can't. He, he don't even understand, man. It's about this. This is why the majority of them shoot. So I know that program, too. See, I know how to deal with people who run on a damn program. I know how to program them. All the chosen, man, we have to start learning how to program these damn NPCs. An NPC coming to my energy, then they're going to start working for me. Some way, somehow. You, you best to believe that. I know what's to do with it, man. I like the meat, the potatoes, and the bones. Because I know what to do. Do it. Peace.